Greetings from... Barcelona. I thought you were going to do it like a bit more enthusiasm than that. Greetings from... Barcelona! So Mark has the week off work and we thought we'd make the most of it by coming to Barcelona. And we got here last night, we went for a really nice dinner in this place. Can't remember the name of it, but I will actually do a blog post of everything that we've done and do like the little city guide like we did with the Stockholm one. So this vlog is going to be quite like montage and you're going to be like, where, where are they going? What are they doing? All of the information will be in the blog post that I will link in the top line of this description box. But we had a lovely dinner last night. It was so nice and it was really close to our hotel, like an eight minute walk, which was great. So we went there, Mark had a huge steak thing and I had some like cod and bean thing. It was absolutely delicious. Had a bit of wine, that was very tasty as well. And then we just came back and then we slept into quite a ridiculous time today. I don't want to tell you what the time is now. <laughs> it is almost, well, it's kind of like lunchtime-ish. So we we're gonna go for some brunch, but let's face it, it's practically lunch. We're very hungry, hence why the camera is probably shaking right now. But yeah, not really sure what our plan is for the rest of the day. But like I said, everything that we've done will be in the city guide. So check that out if you want more information. But yeah, the weather looks kind of, it looks warm. I'm very warm in what I'm wearing. I definitely didn't pack right for this trip. I think it's going to be a bit sweaty today. It's supposed to rain, but it doesn't look like it's going to anymore. So let's do this. We're going to do a Gaudi walking tour. We found it online and it's free. You just give a donation at the end. So two and a half hours long, we've got a bottle of water. We're ready. The tour is incredible. Run a bean tours, big thumbs up. It was actually amazing. And now it offers some food at Flax and Kale, which so many people recommend it. I think it's quite healthy. I'm looking forward to it. So last night we found this really cool place called Casa Bonnet and it has like a really funky cocktail bar and a coffee shop and it's actually like a hotel and our friend Emma from Milk Teeth, you know her blog Milk Teeth, I'll link it down below, gave us so many recommendations because she saw my picture on Snapchat and she was like, we stayed in that hotel room, the exact same hotel room like a couple of weeks ago, which is insane. So she gave us some really good recommendations. We went to Libertine last night, had cocktails which were incredible. He made me this like, amaretto sour that also had this Japanese liqueur in it, this like plum liqueur, and it was just beautiful. It was like the best non-amaretto, but kind of amaretto sour I've ever had. And then we had this like chocolate mousse pudding thing, just to have some pudding, because we hadn't had any pudding at where we had dinner. It was incredible. And actually there's a place called Satan's, like in the same little complex in the same hotel, that we think does breakfast, definitely does coffee. So we're gonna check that out now because we've literally just woken up. We've rolled out of bed, brushed our teeth, and we're just gonna go and get some food. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So because we're Gaudi fangirls, we are going to, do you say Park, Park well? well? Park Well. Park um, Well, which is supposed to be incredible. And we're walking up a very big hill. There is a lot of steps coming up. I looked at this and I knew this already, but I didn't tell Anna until we've actually got to the steps. I'm prepared. I've got my water. There, is, there are some escalators on the right there. Oh my god, there's escalators! <laughs> okay, I don't know what ones I'll be taking. Look at that NASA. Gaudi's a, Gaudi's a bit of a genius. This view, the view is insane. Look at that big boat.
today we're going to Sagrada Familia. Hey. Did I say it right? First time she said it right on holiday. Mark has been trying to get me to say that right for the holiday. Uh, well, it might not be right actually. Maybe it's not right. You're not Spanish, so I don't know. We're trying our hardest. Oh god, so I'm amazed at these and my eyes are watering loads. Um, but now we're off to get some breakfast. Mark found a place online that looked really nice and it's kind of like on the way. So yeah, another Gaudi full day. <laughs> She worked in a hotel and so she knew all the spots to go to and she was like you have to go to this park it's so lovely and it's like the really fancy exotic version of Victoria Park it's lovely it's like oh it's a lovely fountain people having a party at like midday it's very cute We're back from the Picasso Museum. It was absolutely awesome. It's actually our final night here, which is really sad. So we've just done that thing where you come back to the hotel room because it was a bit chilly outside and we needed to get um, jackets and like longer sleeve things. And we've desperately tried not to fall asleep. I've also been picking a spot. But I think I'm gonna call this vlog to an end here. That doesn't even make sense, does it? I'm so tired. I think I'm gonna, what I'm trying to say is I'm gonna end the vlog here and we're off for dinner now. If it's noteworthy, I will include it in my little roundup, which will have every single recommendation of places where we've been and places that people recommended to us that were awesome. That will be in the blog post that is linked in the top line of the description box below, but I'm gonna call it an end here because I actually need to edit this vlog pretty snappy to have it up for Sunday. So I will see you soon with a brand new video on Wednesday. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye everyone. Wave. Yeah. <laughs>